Today we're going to build a portable, weatherproof, off-grid solar generator in a box. We will describe every component that we used in the solar generator, show you how we reconfigured a standard metal truck box, and demonstrate the operation of the system. We build portable solar power generators to meet all of our off-grid and emergency electrical power needs. No more worries about having enough gas or propane for that old emergency power generator. You can use solar generators all year long to provide clean, earth-friendly power to your home, workshop, shed, camper, or off-grid cabin. A quick system overview. We have our power coming in from our solar panels to a PV disconnect switch, which flows into the charge controller. The charge controller charges up the batteries from the energy coming in from the solar panels. The energy coming out of the batteries flows through a switch and into a battery monitor. The battery monitor tells us how much time we have remaining on the batteries. The batteries are then hooked up to our power inverter, which converts the DC energy from the batteries to a 110 volt AC power. As we mentioned, the charge controller managed charging the batteries. We've taken our two 12 volt lead acid gel sealed batteries. These are nice, small portable batteries. Great for a small project like this. We've jumpered between the two negative terminals and the two positive terminals. That hooks these up in parallel. The first thing you want to do when powering up a solar generator is turn on the batteries. That is an important safety guard because when you then turn on the solar panels, the energy coming into the charge controller from the solar panels has a place to go and that routes it to the batteries. With the solar panels and the batteries turned on, the charge controller then gives us a nice view of what's happening. The flashing arrow between the panels and the battery tells us that we have energy flowing from the solar panels and charging the batteries. This shunt is part of the battery monitor system and it simply allows the battery monitor to sample the energy flow through the system. Here's what the battery monitor looks like. It's a Renology battery monitor. It's the first time I've ever used one of these. I've, our batteries are full charged, so we have 100% of energy there. 100 amp hours available, 14.1 volts, and we have 1.6 amps coming in. That's what that So coming out of the switch, the battery switch, we have a cable that flows through a fuse which comes with the inverter. This is a Krager 1100 watt inverter. It's a nice small inverter, great for a portable system. Again, all these components can be scaled up depending on your energy needs. This is what the back of the inverter looks like. We have a red input and a black input. We also have a grounding lug. And once we get this installed permanently, we'll have a grounding wire that comes and hooks to that lug. We have a little toggle switch here for on and off. And here we have a built-in fan. This fan is why we wanted to put vents into our toolbox. What I have plugged in here are two loads. One that goes to this really nice Ryobi shop fan and one that goes to a little clip-on shop light. They always say it's best to plug in your loads first and then fire up your inverter. On it goes. We have our light and our fan from the sun. The next step is to pack this solar generator into our toolbox and install it down at our Tiki Hut and put it to work for us. We gave the toolbox a good cleaning and added a baseboard for the batteries and a shelf for the electronics. As the electronics can generate a lot of heat, we installed rain and bug proof air vents on three sides. Finally, we added a cable pass through in the back of the box for the wires coming from the solar panels as well as an extension cord coming out from the inverter. Our toolbox is now ready to become a portable solar generator. We are obtaining power from a 340 watt solar panel mounted on a portable ground mount. We're all wired in in our backyard tiki hut and all systems are go. We're running a pool. chlorine generator for our pool as well as the pumps in our saltwater lagoon. But the uses are endless as a portable solar generator can provide free power from the sun wherever needed all year long. Thank you for watching and if you like what we're doing please subscribe to our channel and we also have our GoFundMe site if you'd like to help.
Thank you.